In today's society, it's quite common for people to live together without getting married. But did you know that if you're living with someone that you're not married to, and that person dies unexpectedly without a will, that you could be evicted and thrown out in the street and not allowed to live in his house because he's passed away. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas, and unfortunately I have seen this happen many times over the years. For example, someone called me recently named Mary, and Mary had been living with Bob for 25 years, but they'd never gotten married. And Bob had two children from a previous marriage who were adults that he didn't get along with at all and hadn't seen them and hadn't had any contact with them for a long time. However, when he passed away, they somehow found out about it and they went into probate court and got themselves appointed and declared the only two heirs because they are, in fact, the only two legal heirs, the only two children of this man who passed away. And since Mary was not married to Bob, they had every right to throw her out on the street, take the house that she'd been living in for 25 years and sell it out from under her. Now, if she had only been legally married to Bob, they couldn't have done that because we have a homestead law that says that the spouse of the person who died is allowed to continue to live in that house for as long as they live. Um, they don't actually own the house, they can't sell it. If they move out and abandon it, they lose it. But as long as they continue to live there and that's their homestead, they can't be evicted for the fact that the person who actually owned the house has passed away. However, with a will, Bob could have fixed all of that because you can leave your property to anybody you want to in your will. You don't have to be married to them. You don't have to be related to them. And you do not have to provide for your children in your will. He could have left his house and everything he owned to marry the woman that he'd been living with for 25 years. But because he didn't have a will, Mary got nothing from his estate. 